All right, I'm back. I'm back, baby. And ba -ba -da -ba -ba. while I was making coffee, <gasps> I thought that there's something that I wanted to say, and I can't actually remember what it is anymore. Um, me forget something? Never. All right, chat, who can remember what the fuck we were doing? Dying a lot, I remember that. I, I remember the deaths. Oh, um, emotes. So, tier two and tier three subs are now more worthwhile for partners. Um, as I believe you're allowed to put five emotes free emotes i've forgotten how this all this works um for affiliates that's not in place yet i'm assuming it will be because that shouldn't be a benefit by partner and affiliate that is a benefit for um i just crashed into a planet with autopilot um that is a benefit for the person who's willing to put the extra money in for the sub, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm hoping they'll roll that out. Um, there is a really bad new remote for everybody. Which Zeppo has just found. Made to my normal high standards. Yeah, we have been there, haven't we? Honestly, I feel like it's a, a moat I should have had for barn finders. So people could have just used it constantly. Um, have we been to the boob dome? I think so. Oh, I'm no longer driving because I pressed the wrong button. Although, that is a ship. Also, that was the best landing ever, which I totally did on purpose. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the other guy's ship. Can I get in it and steal it? Well, that's disappointing. I'm here, I did it, I put the ship down safely. Um, in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts, Feltbar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. Beep, beep. The door is broken and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one, but probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths away below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try and find a way down. You are indeed broken. But yes, I think the confused emote works. Hopefully it shows confusion. If not, people will just be confused as to what it's meant to be. And then I would just say that was the whole point. <laughs> Ow. I really don't feel like you're taking damage there. That does seem wildly inconsistent. Ow. 
I think we may have to try and explore another planet because I don't really know what else we have to find here. Other than a way to get into this structure, there must be another way. Although it's also possible we've been in it already. We can check the ship's computer because that should remind us of what we were doing, maybe. Uh, computer. Uh, the Nomi put a hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. I think we're on Brittle Hollow? I'm also not entirely sure if we have to, like, start putting this together in a meaningful way. There's more to explore here. All right, well, that tells me I should be going back there. Okay. Um... Are there enemy ruins somewhere on the Atoll Rock? No one knows what they are or why they were built. Uh, where's the Atoll Rock? Glass twins we've been to. Timberhurf we tried to land at. Ah, the Atoll Rock is by Timberhurf. It's the little moon there. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get our eyeballs on it. Ah, I see nothing. All right, where's the sun? There's giant deep, so that's... Those are the twins. So I think the one we're looking for is the one that's going around the sun. There's also like the space station thing that I don't think we've looked at yet by the sun. See, now I'm seeing it in proper um, Twitch format, that emote. Oh, God, where are we going? Let's start Bramble. Come on, autopilot. Take me home. Country roads. You yeah, know, I look at it in proper, like, Twitch size. I find the question marks look a little bit too much like Zed's, maybe?
Also, is that a unicorn horn or have you stabbed my emote with a knife? Wait, didn't we? I'm starting to think this isn't where we were meant to be going. This is back home. Uh, no, I can't leave because we're crashing into the planet. We just crashed into the planet. I do not like how quick that happens. that I could check my map. Was it over here? Or was it in this view? In this view would make the most sense, right? Oh, no, I am trying to get to this moon. All right. That's no moon. Oh, God, I'm crashing into a planet again. I mean, landing beautifully. Have you never heard of orbit? God damn it. All right, where is the moon? That's no moon. Oh, wait, no. It is a moon. It's a fine line between landing and crashing into a planet like an idiot. I'm back, baby. That's probably where I want to go. Perfect landing. All right. Did I land in a place where I can't actually get out? Also, that's very dark. That didn't help. Uh, church research notes, property of shirt. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of dark bramble. I'd posit the Atoll Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Question mark. Uh, this isn't the ruins, though. All right, do not jump off the moon by mistake. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I've done it. There we go. It's fine. I, I just jumped over the entire moon. Just like the cow. No. Did the cow jump over the moon or did the cow run away with the spoon? Uh, the cow jumped, the dish ran.
Oh, you're not a... Right, this is constantly rotating. Uh, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Uh, Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It sounds to me to posit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. Dun dun dun. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Cassifer. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. God damn it. Don't you know it's rude to search for the eye of the universe? Oh, you're empty. Oh, but you're... You're not. Puzzle solving. Uh, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always had a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Uh, Anno and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Alright, so we learned some things. There's a quantum moon locator on the Ember Twin. Which I don't think we've managed to land at. And there's something on Brittle Hollow South Pole. Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures. But seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is a kind of Narami locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from a little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure. I was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just going to back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Old stars above. I'm glad I'm not the only one who has trouble flying these ships. I <laughs> hope the eye isn't brown. Oh my. As long as it doesn't fart every time it bends over, we should be alright. I wouldn't expect this to open up anything different down here. But I am expecting this to come important at some point. Oh, hang on. What kind of a noise were you just about to make? Because I think at some point I need to work out what planets these are talking about. I think it's just because I grabbed the ball, actually, that's making a noise. Oh, I see. The telescope still does kind of work. So that is the sun. Let me get my ball out. You make a lot of noise when I'm looking at that planet, so that might be important. In 
interesting. But that's Brittle Hollow there, right? No. That's Timber Hearth. Oh, Brittle Hollow is the planet we always end up at. So I can only imagine we've already been to the South Pole here. We're going to try and find a way in. Also, we've got to be running out of time already. All right, where is my ship? Oh, also, chat, did you see that in 2021, NASA are going to try and... Um, change the path of a meteorite or 2022 who here believes that's going to be what's going to end up killing us oh you meant move it away from earth you should have made that clear in the memos Hey LP, how you doing? Hey, I'll be the final guest of solving Trump. There's an easy solution to Trump. Don't vote him in. Vote Joe Biden, just Biden time. Oh, hang on. Let's lock onto the right planet first. Oh, so chat. So uh, I had the doctors this morning, just for a uh, general go over. And according to them, I've lost two stone during the COVID crisis. So that's good, right? And tomorrow I get to finally go and hopefully order some new glasses. That'll be nice. I want to say a stone is 16 pounds, but I'm not 100% sure on that. All right, we have... Have we tried to get into the observatory before? Is that where the ship is? And is this the South Pole? All right, we have... In fact, that is where we started this whole... I looked at the landing camera before we landed. That means I did it on purpose. Even though we're still moving a little bit. That's by design. Oh, we're not moving. The planet is going into black hole mode. Shit. There's something in there. Ow. All right, don't get sucked into that little sun thing. It'll kill you.
I'm back, baby. All right. So I guess we'll check the ship's log and see what we should try to look at next. Probably Bramble... Brittle Hollow? I hear there and then we were in somewhere on the Atoll Rock. We... no, we just explored that. And then we tried to build a large, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow South Pole. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. So possibly going in underneath. So we still haven't found everything there. And then you're just all off on your lonesome. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity field. I recalled a Naomi shuttle from the interloper. Uh, one of the escape pods had crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel, which was badly damaged. The Amy survivors who crashed on Brittle Hollow climbed down the cliff to a shelter site below the surface. They did. We've been there. A strange rock shard that wanders when no one is watching. The Omi determined this shard is the reason objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. And the Omi hypothesized that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. Right, so we can probably follow that signal to try and find the quantum moon. But I think we just want to go back to Brittle Hollow and... Um... explore there a little bit more, although I don't really know what we're doing, but that does seem to be the whole point of the game, so I'm not going to complain. Have we looked at this weird tower thing that we seem to be landing by? Yes, that was the that was the crash ship, I think. I've complete oh there we go. Yeah. That is the crash ship. Yeah, we've looked in there. We're gonna crash! I mean, gently nuzzle. And they wouldn't give me a helicopter's license. How ridiculous was that? Do you look suspicious? I think it's just because you look a little bit like a toilet. I feel like I'm getting better at the flying, but we all know at one point I'm going to crash into something majorly hard. This is where we came when we first went through the black hole, right?
which means that it's not going to be charged up, so it's not actually a way in right now. Oh, there were oh, yes, 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 it is the place for two of them. Okay. Again, we've done this already. Ow. <laughs> Did I just kill myself? Almost. I don't know if we can even land on Ember Moon. Like, if I, tr uh, I think it's called Ember Moon. If I try and take my shuttle through the lava, if we would just die or not. Uh, now the way in, I've left my ship behind, but I don't intend to leave this planet before the half hour is up. So that's probably all right. Uh, the way in is through here. Uh, there's a house with the tree in it. Oh, hang on. Is this somewhere slight? Oh, have I been here? I don't think we have. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Uh, that's exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower's on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. My gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. Now, we kind of found our way there, but we couldn't get in last time we tried. See, that's a way up from all the way down there because that in fact i think we kind of came up here from the inside one time Yeah, we've been down there before. It's kind of actually where I want to go, but I'm also intrigued as to what this is. I mean, this is another gravity cannon. The 
The crossroads. Do I think I can make that jump? I mean, this one, yes. This one? The speed. Uh, the shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. I'm trying to call the shuttle home. Do I have to hold it in place? No, it kind of craps out. Oh no, the shuttle did come back, I think. have a little look-see. The Southern Observatory. That's down south. That was disconcerting. Uh, I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon as expected my shuttle has landed at the moon south pole I will make the reminder of remainder even of my journey on foot we don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole just that this is true as a child I considered such unknown sinister now though I understand they bear no ill will the universe is and we are I am ready Ready for what? We're in space! I don't know if that's a good thing. I also don't know where we're going. <laughs> Well, we seem to be traveling out of the solar system. Um, is that going to be a problem? It's probably fine. <laughs> hey, Solburn. Yes, I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, what's that? Is it just random space mess? What did this do? Return us back home? Yes. All right, so what does this do? Oh, is that changing our angle? Do I want to fire us directly into the sun? All right, so clearly we need to know where we need to launch ourselves at some point to hit the quantum moon. We do not know that yet. All righty. But that is progress. Uh, sun is the hottest tourist attraction in the solar system. I check it out if I was you. I have no doubt that we will have to fire ourselves into the sun at some point.
Yeah, that's why I'm enjoying it, uh, Soulburn. Just wandering around at my own pace, making mistakes. Trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> hey, Chemically Rad, how you doing? I put my faith in science. It's all about the science. Also, have I just thrown myself into a black hole of nothingness? Yes. Yes, I have. This is the thing I think that was engulfed in a blue flame last time we came here. Burr. And hello, Giggles. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Mm. Ah. Now, not having the computer, I think this is where we... We've already been many times. Yeah, it is. Okay. Stay in the hole. Yeah, that was the protection so I wonder if we can put that somewhere else, though. This takes us... This takes us back to Brittle Hollow. That's Brittle Hollow. Yeah, this is the village where we first started to discover stuff. And we can go back because it's charged up this time. And there's my ship. <laughs> it's like I did it on purpose, but we all know better. But I still think I would. I, I want to just try and get back down where I pretty much just was. Um, See, I would. I would kind of put this as a walking simulator, kind of. But, God, yeah, this planet does not last long with all the old uh, black hole nonsense, does it? But obviously it's more exploration. Whereas walking simulators, if they're designed well, are very much limited to certain paths. Well, one path. I don't know why I said certain paths. Oh, I got sucked into the black hole. All right, so that's what you actually look like. We never actually really got good. Oh, what is that? You've got a very bright spot in the middle. This looks like another gravity cannon, in fact.
Um, it's a bit like the witness in terms of figuring things out. Uh, you wish you knew there's a small plane buzzing in your neighborhood for the last hour? Yes. Why do you... Oh, I see. That's like a distortion of my... I don't think you're safe. I mean, you're like some kind of fusion core or a massive engine or something. There is a jump pad there, though. I just crashed into something. All right, so I think you're broken up. Let's see if we can land by what looks like a broken gravity cannon. I was not expecting to fall down that far. I wouldn't say I particularly landed you, ship. All right, it's fine. Oh, there's no gravity here. All right. That explains a lot. That means I'm going to have real trouble keeping the world in, in the proper angle. It is very much like controlling the, um... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put it away. Um... What am I trying to say? The, uh, ship-breaking game. Oh, goddamn. I'm panicking because I don't like the way rolling works in this game. At least we're not death spiraling. Give it time. Are you still having issues with it, LP? Um, I've had one hard crash. No, it's left button to roll, even though right button would make more sense to me. have been here but this is now unattached have i just found myself onto a bit of brittle hollow that is now floating through space that's interesting We all got sucked in, baby. <laughs> uh, uh, pretty much if you got to second day of job, it crashes. Wow. Yeah, shipbreakers. Are you doing creative mode? No, oh, second day. Sounds like you're still doing story mode. I've given up on the story mode. I didn't like the whole um, timing aspect of it. Also, I'm back, baby.
But I did notice on the Steam reviews that a lot of people said it was crashing. One of them, though, made the exact same mistake I did. Where one of the tools isn't given to you until you move the story along and they thought they'd bought the game. And I was like, no, you've made the same mistake I just did. All right, we still... Let's suit up first so I don't forget to suit up after we've landed. Um, not like I've done that before. Yeah, no, we, we've been there before. We've been to the moon. We still haven't tried to just dive in through the lava. <laughs> oh, dear. It's not really the plan for this time either. Have I been there? I was pressing the wrong button. Also, did I again manage to land on a bit of the planet which is falling into the black hole? I am really good at this. Oh god, yeah, if we actually like actual distances. I don't believe you're Oh, are you mounting the closer you get to the sun? Cuz I think there might be secrets to explore. Oh. Talking of the sun. Might as well be walking on the sun. Huh. Everything is damaged. So why did they never think of adding an anchor to the ship?
<laughs> Anchor would make it too easy. Oh god, we're actually sliding on the ice. Um, you seen him fly? It certainly wouldn't for him. <laughs> that is probably true. But streamers have feelings too, you know. Even the English ones. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise. I think, Clary, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. All right. Do I think there's a way in? So, yeah, having just read Children of Time or Children in Time, whatever it's called, The similarities to that and this are kind of alarming. And the fact that we do seem to be giant bug-like creatures. The less eccentric Pink Floyd album, The Dark Side of the Comet. Oh god, the sliding on ice movement. You definitely feel it, I like it. Yes, the one with the spiders, yeah. Now, I should probably start wondering where my ship is. Because we're going to need oxygen soon. Uh, the sliding caught you by surprise here, but it's fun. It is, yeah. Uh, it's wild sci-fi of huge scales in both, but not sure about the common points aside from that. Well, mainly the kind of wandering through space trying to find old technology. Which isn't where that 
series ends up, but. You're clearly broken. Let me fix you. God, I wish it was that easy to repair stuff in real life. Just hold X till it's done. Is <laughs> that every woman ever? <laughs> oh my. Alright, I can't believe that there isn't more to this, but... We at least got another little blip on the computer screen. Oh, that is just timber hearth. That looked a lot smaller to me. All right. That's because we're far away. These sheep are large. These sheep are far away. No, small, small, large. Oh, autopilot's going to crash me into the moon. Autopilot. Also, autopilot may have just broken. Uh, my ship, it is broken. Uh oh. I think it may have something to do with the angle we landed on the moon at? Oh no, hang on. We just managed a perfect landing somehow. All right. I mean, we broke a couple of instruments, but... Can it really be considered a landing if you don't hurt some of your ship? So what are you? Uh, space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Keiki. It's a continuing mission to crash into new worlds, to seek out new puzzles and old black holes, to boldly go where someone has clearly gone before. Yes. And in the tradition of Captain Kirk, sleep with as many alien women as I can. Are you just a big ball of gas? Yes, we have tried to go here once before. I got uh, killed by the fountain of soda. That's right. I've fallen into the bloody soda mountain already. Soda mountain? Lake. Lake mountains. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, uh, you really love how the planets are actually 3D with curved gravity and all? Yeah. Oh, this game is exceptionally well made. If um, 
if it had, if I'd been able to buy stuff on the Epic Game Store, I would have picked it up a long time ago. But I had to wait for stupid Steam. All right, so you're a teleport pad. The same goes with the other game I'm going to play today, which is Anno. I had to wait for stupid Steam. For some reason, because I'm from Guernsey, it won't allow me to buy um, things. Although it's not a Guernsey-wide problem. Oh yeah, Ep Epic bought the exclusive rights. And I don't blame the devs for taking the the money. Oh, I think this is another escape pod. Uh, we need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Our escape pods passengers are afraid, but physically well. And now everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. But were you able to find the other escape pods to trust signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Um... If Facebook Gaming gave you $2,500 for partner, would you take it? No. Oh, we're sinking. I got that sinking feeling. Launching Escape Pod 3, now launching Escape Pod 2. I swear, yep, yeah, we are... We are definitely sinking, so do I have to find this earlier and there will be more? Or is it sinking because I'm standing in it? That looks like a Death Star mixed with a TIE Fighter and I kind of love it. That's no moon. But yeah, I mean, if Facebook Gaming offered me 30 million to go exclusive, I probably still wouldn't take it. Oh, that'd be a hard decision. I honestly couldn't tell you if I take that or not. That is a life-changing amount of money right there. Yeah, ninja. So, I mean, again, you can never blame him for taking that money, right? I mean, that's just... Oh, what in the name of God are you? Uh, this planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. Uh, this is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish there when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so we can always know where it is. I found your note, Mallory. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of microscopic quantum mechanics. Hey, Trenta. Welcome, welcome. You want if you buy this game on Steam, just 100% it? 
I mean, that sounds like something you do during a Steam Summer Sale, right? Now, if I doze off and I let the timer count up, is this giving me more time on this world? <laughs> oh, dear. I like this game, LP, because it's not treating you like idiots. Um, and I find that refreshing from a game these days. All right, search, research, note. We know search. Also, why are you giving me keyboard commands now, all of a sudden? Clearly, the Nomi were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomi were observing? I posit that something special about the orange symbol on that device. How on the new astronaut's translator tool would be nice to have handy about now? That's a me, I think. Uh, Ninja is probably going back. He's got his full 30 mil for his troubles. He doesn't necessarily need more money to be stuck on some other platform. Like, I was trying to think about it. Like, if I was Ninja, so I get 30 million to go on to Mixer. I'm then basically allowed out of my contract for the full price, which is an amazing deal by him, by the way. Like, good going on him. Um... Well, that doesn't seem good. <laughs> like, I was thinking to myself, I would not stream in the same way that he has, right? Like, he has tried very hard to become a very big streamer with all the kind of horrible, nasty stuff you have to do on that side of the business to improve your following, right? If I was him, I would just stream like I do now, but now I've got enough money to survive forever. Just like, you just don't give a shit anymore, do you? Because I can't believe he still enjoys playing Fortnite. I, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> but, you know, maybe he does. Also, I'm back, baby. Yeah, I mean, like, for the contract, like, I know when the few times he's spoken up about these kind of things, um, he said he play, he kept on playing Fortnite on Twitter because that's what everybody watched. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I get it, and then I would imagine Mixer, because I do, but, like, because I can only imagine he failed on his contract on the fact that Mixer had to fold up because they weren't making any money. Like, I'm amazed he came out like he did. Absolutely amazed. Uh, I knew we'd be set for life for 30 mil, but we do not know how he likes to spend. Oh, I'd be set for life. I would still work because I get bored, but what that work would be, I would have no idea. Yeah, I was the same, honestly, Soulburn. Some of the special stuff they've done has been amazing, and I still think Fortnite does the skin game better than anybody else in town. Um... And I do believe Ninja still has one of the biggest uh, followed accounts on Twitch, even though he hasn't been here ever since he moved to Mixer. Um, I think I want to go back to where we were and explore that a bit more. Um, the question as always is, where the fuck is that right now? There. Uh, Fortnite has one of the best free-to-play models and constant updates, yeah? Yeah. If Fortnite had a better gameplay cycle which didn't come down to just build lol, I'd probably play it. I will say their creative mode is fantastic. I haven't played it myself, but I've watched people muck around on it. Oh god, I'm going to crash into the sun. Because I always forget autopilot was designed by bloody Elon Musk. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, 
He's Elon Musk. The sun will move for him. All right, anyway. Oh, I'm back, baby. Sorry, I know it. Oh, no. Put the suit on first, because I will always forget. Just jump into no oxygen and die. Well, ask yourself this, on Owen. Have I ever put you in a corner? <laughs> Mini golf once. <laughs> the sun does move, yeah. Oh, I see. We're actually here early. It hasn't actually started harvesting the other moon yet. And there's a weird thing over there which we have never managed to dock with. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to get out. No, 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 no. We're still driving here. I'm still out of my flight suit. It's fine. Nothing to see here. Nothing is going wrong. I did not do that. I right, we'll just land here. It'll be fine. So what I also like about this game, because obviously you're, you know, you're basically Groundhog Daying it. You're reliving the same 30 minutes or so. I do like that certain things are only discoverable for a certain amount of time. I also hate that, but... Fabergé egg or cannon? But everything has rumors attached to it? Yes. Oh, yeah. The, um... The uh, computer has to be used a lot more than I'm using it right now, for sure. So you are the ship from the ice planet. Which means I can now explore you if I don't crash into lava. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi Poke and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the reading. So there is more to that comet. Uh, but Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke Pie, come back to me safely, my friends. He did not leave the shuttle. Also, I want to steal this very... I was going to say impressive-looking suit, but it looks like they couldn't be bothered to texture it completely. It's fine. Do you still work, or are you broken? Oh my god, you still work. I don't think we were aimed anywhere. And I want to explore the Ember Twin more, but... Alright. I think there's more stuff over on the top side of this where I could jump to? Yeah. Sunless City. Oh, hang on. We've tried to get in here before, I think. 
And it's surrounded by cactus? Yeah. And so far we don't have anything that can take up... That also looks like ghost material in there, so I don't think we can go in there yet anyway. Cactus. Cactus. <laughs> oh god, cactus. I'm not 100% sure I can even get out of here now. I mean, beautiful flying there, Luke. All right, so we now know there is more to the comet than we managed to find. Do we have to get there sooner or later? We may never know. At least you're out. Exactly. Um, wire at the ship. Well, there are trees there. So you are the thing that finds the moon. That's interesting. Now you're going to be the original scroll though, right? Not the one that we didn't finish. Yes. All right, so let's go grab the other scroll. your mark to each of the places the moon goes i know about i just said the quantum moon in orbit around dark bramble i added a marker for dark bramble i thought the locator now accounted for all of the phantom moon's locations but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is perhaps there's a problem with the device we have keen eyes my friend oh you have keen eyes my friend so this moon travels to a total of five locations not four it's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which the phantom moon travels I'm assuming this is the symbol for the moon. And if that's true, it travels bloody quick. I don't know if we've ever seen the moon. I think it means this satellite looking thing. God, that whips around really fast. All right. So I don't think we've got much time left to explore. And I just want to have a little wander around. We are learning, though. We're learning by doing. Ow. I 
I thought I'd controlled that better than that. Oh, there's something down there. Uh, every player goes about this game differently. You've noticed things you haven't. Oh, hang on. Is this out? Is this the other side going into the Sunless City? Or is this just a bit that gets covered in sand or whatever the hell the other moon is? It gets dumped here on the regular. And is it coming right for us? I also like that even though death is a mechanic in this game, it doesn't really have a major consequence. We already found you, didn't we? It's a less in your face and annoying Matura's mask. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, this game reminds me of Groundhog Day a lot. And this, I think, is just up by the fire gear. Just running out of time while clearing a dungeon or puzzle? Yeah. I did like Majora's Mask, though. And we have found two of the uh, crashed ships now, so we're just looking for the third. We are running out of time on this run, though, I believe. Left it too late. A crack on the windscreen and the ship is fine, right? I don't need to get the AAA out for that. Now, this isn't really where I wanted to land, but it's fine. All right, very low gravity here. Keep that in mind. Did you just launch me into space? No. You brought me up here. Was there a reason for this? Also, right now, this is reminding me of a little big planet, planet. Oh, also, chat, was anyone else interested by the um, Sackboy game that's coming out on the PS5? Ow. It did look fun, I agree. And I was a huge fan of Little Big Planet. 
Uh, you don't really care about games that don't come out on PC? No, I can understand that. And I'm honestly hoping Sony is going to keep to their word and after, I would imagine, a two to five year exclusivity window, bring more of their games to PC. Because if you've never played Horizon Zero Dawn, I highly recommend it. No, down, down. Oh no, I got caught in soda. This is gonna hurt. Uh, yeah. Um, you hated Horizon Zero Dawn? I'm honestly surprised. Alright, that door is broken. Oh, but there are things I can get in from the bottom. Maybe. Um, if I played it on Big Planet, did I try Dreams? No, I didn't try Dreams because I'd given up on my um, PlayStation by then. But Dreams looked really interesting. We died. We died. We died. <laughs> oh, you hated Little Big Planet? I enjoyed the gameplay. I got a little bit sick of how cutesy wootsy it tried to be at times, but hey, welcome back, Rogu. I hope you had a good breakfast. Huh. Yes, there may have been a few deaths. And I may be a little bit confused still. Also, I'm back, baby. Only cereal? Nothing wrong with cereal. Uh, low commitment couch co-op fuck around game it was, yeah. <laughs> Not the good kind. Alright, well I think we want to go back to Sandy Planet. So we're starting to build up some clues. We haven't really answered many of the clues. Um, sack boy, yes. Oh, talking about the PlayStation chat, I haven't forgotten about Greedfall. I will be going back to it. But amazingly, we've, we've picked up a lot of games recently, which have been really enjoyable to play. So I'm assuming there's nothing on this planet until... Well, not a lot on this planet until it's uncovered, right? There's sand.
little little crash there. Everything's fine. Hey Daniel, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, chat, I hope everyone's lockdowns and quarantines are going well. Um, like I said, ours is over 55 days now. Coronavirus free. Soon doing well, continuing to try not to suck at Europa Univalis 4. I've been watching way too many developer streams of Port Royale 4. Like I need another game like that right now. Alright, that's the crash ship. Um, yeah, our, our two by two is gone now as well. Um, like I say, lockdown is essentially over. The sunless city, but how do I get past all this ghost nonsense? Okay, you seem to be a wall. Just double checking. There is stuff in there. And you're a projector surrounded by a cactus. I really should start using the scout more. Um, your latest try ended rather crappily. You were playing as Tuscany and got pulled into an alliance war with Spain. Spain came in with 50k troops and stumpified you. Oh, dear. Like I say, we're out of lockdown because we have been like 55... I think it's 55 days now. Uh, free of new cases. Um... And everyone was getting sick of being in lockdown, which I completely understand. Uh, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Pine are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. An update, the high energy lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin project. If you're here to help... To hey, Rydog. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Portuguese D. Daniel. It is appreciated. Oh, and I got an emote for that. And hey, Crispy. Uh, Rami and I will be running this experiment until one of us can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the power from the sunless city. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. Well, God damn it. So we've got to go the other way around. This is the high energy lab. The sunless city. All right, let's follow these steps down so we can get our way in. Um, your sister was telling me about four restaurants are closing due to the virus because some staff tested positive, but the management ordered them not to talk about it and still work. Wow. I mean, I kind of understand it. Like, if you don't have the support to keep people going, keep your business going, you make stupid decisions, but wow. I 
don't think I can do this. Did you launch me somewhere safe or did I die? I died. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, the staff went to hang out in other places which spread it. To oh, God damn. Yeah, that's just stupid. Oh, there'll be a lot of deaths. Yeah, jails. I'm back, baby. Um, have been bad. Like, yeah, we do live on a small island, and we reacted kind of quickly to coronavirus. Um, they did have a system in place for our local prison that if coronavirus hit, everyone was going to be let out, but coronavirus never made it into our prison, so... Uh, New Zealand is corona-free too, until those bloody British people turned up. With their rona. I'm always split, like, in with prisons. Because they are there to punish. But it is... It's, it's human beings in there. Like, I would argue that Europe has probably gone too soft on prisoners and America's... Well, America's still making money from prisoners, so... Um, you know, privatized prisons were never a good idea. Do we know what that is? Yeah, I think that was uh, the Bramble place. Yeah, I mean, rehabilitation is what, you know, local, uh, local, modern prisoning is about. Uh, there are kinds of people absolutely should be in prison for. There are a lot of other crimes that should definitely be entered to rehabilitation process as opposed to being in jail. Yeah, I agree, right, dog. I, I agree completely. Yeah, I, I don't agree with punishment. Um, you know, I, I, I agree that you shouldn't just be allowed to get away with something. Um, because then why would anyone keep to the social contract, right? But yeah, I mean that's the trouble. And again, I understand from a like public purse perspective having a prison run, but the trouble is the prison still costs the public a shit ton of cash. It's just most of it is being you know, taken out into individual pockets now. Alright, I don't think I have the skills to try and land on you. Also, you can slingshot the sun. I love it. We're Superman now. Uh, fear of prison is not the main drive for people to follow the social contract. Most people tend to just want to live in a decent society. Also true. Uh, if you use them for labor, it's basically a new form of slavery. Yeah, I completely agree with you there. Well, cheap labor. You can use them for labor if you pay them. Um, at least the government is using the money distributed through the employees. Yeah, uh, a for-profit prison to me doesn't make sense. Mm, that's good, OJ. Uh, hey, Nightbringer. One of the most expensive things for any business is labor. Our state has all the training and employment costs of guards offloaded onto the state. Yep. 
They do want people to stay in jail. They don't want to rehabilitate. They don't want to look after them. They don't want to look after them to a uh, human. St oh God damn it! I'm in the ocean now. Everything is fine. I don't think it should come down to prisoners being able to choose their prison. It, it should come down to the fact that prisoners should treat you with a little bit of respect. Okay, you don't have the freedom of just normal life. Um, ah, oh, God damn it. And one of the things I will say about English prisons is that sometimes the quality of life is better in prison than outside. And that doesn't sound like a good idea. Um, God, this is the headlights on. How bad are these headlights? Now, this is looking like another cannon. I'm going to try and position my ship so it's caught. With this as it runs. Do I think you're stable enough where you are? No. Almost forgot. Almost. Um. Oh, Kerbal Space Program. God, yeah, I loved it. Did I crash a lot of spaceships? Yes. Did a lot of my spaceships not even launch? Also, yes. Um gets it stuck so it stays but too stuck so we can't leave it does have landing gear it wasn't about trying to land on this it's about trying to get it stuck so we can have a little look around Um, my ship may be on, now be on a different bit. Bye, spaceship. You were fun while you lasted. Are you going to suck me in or are you going to throw me off? Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, you got an update from work. Looks like you'll be in the office for a week and then remote for free and rotate that way. Uh, you like the KSV video where they sent the Kerbal on a solar orbit without a rocket? I'm very much looking forward to Kerbal Space Program 2 because the idea of actually trying to colonize stuff a little bit more it really appeals to me. Control module. Launch module. So in a way, like I, I love I love the, the time mechanic that's at play on this. But in a way the game would be a lot harder if it didn't exist because you'd actually have to look after your ship more. That's where I came in, I think. Yeah. God damn my childbearing hips. Alright. Actually, I think that may be where I came in. Uh, it won't start until August. Probe tracking module. You seem broken, my friend. All right, let's open up one of these other doors then. Bearing in mind, we're probably going to suffocate. Um, oh no, apparently there's trees in here. Also, which way is the gravity? All righty. The answer is both ways. I'll pretend I know what's happening. Will you teleport me to that bit now? I'm up here now. big ball you have you're crawling out of your skin being back in office it's like you're an expendable peon and the only value in putting us back in the office and continue the charade that we are doing good all your work can be done from home yeah i'm surprised they forced you back as quickly as they did nightbringer Uh, you have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassaver. I wish I were, my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on, on indefinite hiatus. Uh, tell Privet and Marlo they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update, Mano and I will join you and Daz. Uh, Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible.
Uh, Mallow, my bet of 50%. Casper ascending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we will know the eye's precise location. Casper tells me and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and I am right to think that. Consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? Question mark? Oh. I can posit that nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Given the audible probe can and all the power it constructively will stand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can. As far as it can, I'll make some adjustments. Um, what do you know? Yeah. All oh, this Kabuki theater, so some can stroll around and pretend to be a 1940s factory foreman with a cigar in his mouth? Yeah. Uh, the thought of concluding around this curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Well, now I feel like I'm just reading your private emails. Alright, we definitely haven't found this place. Yes, so the old guys were looking for the eye of the universe and the quantum moon. Uh, we're just trying to work out what the fuck they did. Come back. Yep, you fired the ship off and then you broke apart. All right. Old or program kind of structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Uh, probe tracker modules receiving data from probe. Okay. Is this the probe? Alright, so we start from the top. Uh, damage report, severe structural stress detected, accessing damage to modules, uh, control module intact, no structural damage, uh, viewport window fractured, module exposed to vacuum of space, that's the launch module, uh, probe tracking module missing. Missing's never good. I should probably put you back right at the start so I can... Oh god, will you not move anymore? There we go. So I don't know why, but this kind of moving balls around reminds me of both the dig and... Ah, uh, mist? I can't help but notice you will no longer open. There we go. Uh, 16 minutes, 30 seconds ago, request a launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Can align with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Okay. So we know they broke it. By giving it all this got, Captain. That's the one that's broken. That's how we came in. That's where we just were. Oh, hang on. Two of them are broken? Oh, this is the one where we just can't seem to be able to get through because there's... Oh, that one we'd have to come through the glass, I think.
We're in space. Get your ass in that. No, this is the one that was broken. Up. You do indeed look broken. we got uh, imagine privet the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe you'll be the first to see them I am honored and terrified uh, you won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks will you fret not my nervous friend we only need to fire the probe once anyway so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Yeah. Oh, we definitely haven't been. Oh, there's that statue. Interesting. So this is where the statue was? We're out of fuel, baby. Well, on the basis that we can't make it home, uh, we may as well just kill ourselves in space. This is probably fine. <laughs> well, we found an island. Hello. Uh, nice as you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know. It's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. Uh, you're taking this pretty well. Eh, right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. We're gonna die. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfowls and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfowls about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. Bye. <laughs> 
Um, I don't see a message of yours being blocked, Soulburn. So I don't know. Unless you try to say Dave. I'm back, baby. Seems like Twitch removed it. That is weird. All right. Well, we're going to have to go back to the giant deep so we can finish talking to that guy because we ran out of time. Um... But talking about running out of time, I should be switching over to Anna. Uh, bro is blocked last I checked. Do you know, it could still be. Yeah. Um, but that should show up. So I think now is as good a time as any to actually switch over, so... Oh, I was hoping that was moonshine, but it's marshmallows. I've been playing too much barn finders, obviously. 